You're tuning into the Tech Me Show only on YouTube. Thank you for tuning into the Tech Me Show. Today, we're going to learn how to take our USB stick and, well, make it into a bootable uh, Samsung uh, Series 7 uh, recovery, uh, well, disc, technically. Um, and the reason we're doing this is because I just recently sold my uh, Samsung Series 7 tablet, which has Windows 8, which I installed, obviously, from uh, a USB stick. Now, the problem is, the tablet doesn't have a DVD uh, in internal uh, drive, um, and I certainly don't have an optical DVD drive, what for? So, now I have a disc, and I have a person that wants to buy it, but the problem is, they want the Windows 7, not the Windows 8. So, I got the disc... So now what do I do? Well, we're going to be using WinFlash. Um, so as you see right here, my Blu-ray uh, Blu disk drive right here, drive E, we can open it so we can see the contents. As you see, it has its own boot manager, etc. And it loads up, fine. Well, that would be great if I had an optical drive uh, for my tablet to hook up via USB. Now I have a USB stick right here, uh, about 8 gigs, only shows 7.44. Um, I just formatted it. However, that's not going to matter right now because the program we're using is Win to Flash. I don't know what I probably said before, but nonetheless, it's Win to Flash. It's completely free. Uh, it does have an ad in the beginning, which is fair. Uh, gives you the processes you can do. I recommend doing everything by default. Um, and as you see here, I have correct errors. I put that there. I like to know any kind of errors. In bootloader, it, in standard does grub. I put standard. Uh, uh, so I should have said default grub. <laughs> but I put it on standard. We're going to see how that works. Now it says Windows Setup Files Path. In this case, it would be where is that drive. Uh, so my Blu-ray, BD-ROM, right there. And as you see, that has the contents. So I'm going to select OK. Now you, my USB drive, we'll go ahead and find that. And it's going to be removable F, right? So go ahead and select OK. Now we're going to go ahead and click Run. It automatically gets the Windows license agreement from the disk. Um, and that's OK. Uh, that's fine. Um, and we want to go ahead and say, I do accept the terms. Because uh, really, do we have a choice? <laughs> no. OK, so we'll go ahead and select Continue. Now it's uh, doing the disk checking. Oh. Doesn't this support uh, disk checking? So I would have to buy it. Oh well. So now it's going to get another ad, which sucks. But nonetheless, it's going to constantly get it, I guess, while it's uh, transferring uh, the Windows um, setup to the USB drive. How do I know that? Well, right here, they don't make it too obvious, but it is right there. And then right now it's collecting the perimeters, probably from the disk. Um, uh, to see how big it is and what files are there. Maybe something's missing in order for it to load or properly use this program to make it work on a USB stick. Uh, but nonetheless, it does give you tons of options. You can even do this with your own uh, regular Windows uh, programs, um, which is great. I, I, and, and by programs, I mean the operating system disks, which we hear, obviously, Windows 8 might not have disks. Um, which is great. USB sticks, terrific, you know. Uh, but real quickly, as we see, it's copying files and copying all the items right from the drive. This is terrific. Now, could I have made an ISO out of the drive? Absolutely. Would it have pro probably loaded properly if I would have uh, just dragged it all onto the USB stick? Maybe. But now, what if I did do it as an ISO instead of, you know, dragging and dropping and, you know, saying goodbye? Now, say I did uh, make it into a bootable ISO with something like, uh, I don't know, uh, clone copy or clone DVD, etc. Um, it made it into an exact duplicate copy of the um, disk to an ISO and actually used a tool like the Microsoft uh, tool to take uh, an ISO and burn it to USB. Could that have worked? Possibly. But after really investigating this program, I'm pretty confident that this is going to work the way I want it to work. Um, so we'll see in a moment. It is taking a little bit of time. However, it's coming straight from uh, 
the Blu-ray drive, and it is humongous, these files. I mean, it's practically a 4 gig uh, disc, if I'm not mistaken. So it is big, um, but the point is, it's going to work, I think. Uh, and that's the most important part. I don't care if I see these ads, you know, good for him. You know, I put ads my own uh, applications, and you probably saw ads watching this video, and uh, I appreciate it. Trust me, I do. You know, uh, so we'll see. But now let's go back to that, uh, to taking an exact duplicate ISO and uh, putting it onto the USB stick using tools like we do with the Windows 8 uh, ISO to USB in one of our tutorials on the TechMe uh, YouTube page. Um, what we used was the download the Microsoft download tool, whatever case it was, um, Microsoft has their own uh, bootable or bootable compatible um, uh, USB disk tool, which allows you to take the ISO and put it to a USB stick. Um, and it works great. Could I have done something like that? Possibly. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, but nonetheless, I think this is going to be the best route. I don't have to do anything. The program is pretty smart. You know, I'm not going to have to do all these checks, which I'm sure it's going to check uh, to make sure all the number one, uh, the files are properly copied, and it'll probably test it as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but we are at 23.5%. It is uh, <laughs> quite a process, isn't it? Now, I'm not quite sure yet if this progress bar is simply just copying the Windows files or if this progress bar uh, also contains after copying the files and then transfer, uh, transferring them. I'm not sure quite yet how that's going to work, but uh, I'm very excited to find out. But it is taking quite a while. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video until we get further down the line or some other kind of action occurs. I'm not going to make you wait through this whole thing. So we'll see you in a second. And so now we're at 91.4%. We're getting there. And you can't see or probably hear it, but my USB stick is flashing like no other. So perhaps this progress bar was... Um, indeed uh, for the USB stick because it is flashing intensely. So we'll see in a moment, shall we? Yes, this progress, pardon me, progress bar is definitely for the USB stick as well because it is going super slow, and I can hear the USB stick, which, I'll be honest with you, I don't know how that's possible. Unless what I'm really hearing is the Blu-ray, but that's always been quite silent. I'm not quite sure. How embarrassing. <laughs> But it is moving along. That's the good part. As long as we have progress, it never really matters how long it takes. As long as we proceed and succeed, to me, that's all that truly matters. But we're getting there. And now, if you see, it's going quite quick, copying the files. Maybe, perhaps, they're very small. Oh, 
but I definitely think it should be speeding up right now. This was a very long process. You don't realize how long. And this computer is not that slow. And it's coming from Blu-ray. Well, Blu-ray drive. The laser is a lot better. And I'm not quite sure if it makes an ISO or something similar or if it just does a straight copy. It's interesting. We'll find out. We'll take a look and see what we can find. But there sure is a lot of files. And we'll pause you once again. I thought this was going to go quicker. And so now we are finished. 100% finally. We'll go ahead and select OK. We'll go ahead and open up our My Computer. Give it a little refresh. OK. 3.84 gigs free out of 7.43. And here it is. This looks proper. Yes, it looks good. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pop this out and we'll see how it works out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.